everyone, this is Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com and today we are going to work on a series of single crochet tutorials. The very first one I'm going to go over is single crochet into a foundation chain. Now if you're anything like me, I'm a very visual learner and trying to learn crochet from a how-to book was very difficult for me. I learned how to do a stitch, but it may have only been into a foundation chain or maybe in the middle of my project, I wasn't sure how I was supposed to perform each of these stitches throughout my project. So I created these tutorials so that you'll have no problem learning how to put each stitch into each part of your project. So let's get started. Okay, now we're going to single crochet into our foundation chain. I already have my foundation chain made. If you need that tutorial, it is available. So our pattern will usually tell us that we begin in the second chain from our hook. So we don't count the loop that's on our hook, that one never gets counted. I'm going to count back from my loop, I have one chain and then two chains. And we're going to be inserting our hook into the second chain from our hook. Now there are quite a few places that we can insert our hook in this chain and it's going, most of the time it's going to be at your discretion where you want to insert it. Sometimes your pattern will tell you to insert it into the bottom bump or the back loop only. Um, I usually like to insert it into the back loop and um, past the bottom bump. It kind of gives it a nice strong base. When working into the bottom bump, which are these little guys along the back side of your chain, kind of looks like a dashed line going vertical, it will give you a nice V because your chain will actually be the bottom of your work if you're working into this bottom bump. It takes a lot longer to do this because you have to kind of wiggle and get in there just right to get that bottom bump. But the outcome is quite nice because you'll have this V along the bottom of your work. But if it's not important, if you're going to be seaming or if you're going to be giving an edging to your work, it really isn't necessary. And you can just go ahead and do your back loop, which is usually the way that most of us go. So you're just going to simply insert your hook into that back loop. And I like to take my bottom bump with me, so I insert it through both of those. You're going to yarn over, which more is like a layover because you're not really wrapping your yarn, you're just kind of laying it over your hook and then turning your hook to catch it. Then you're going to draw up a loop, which is means pull that yarn over through the stitch that you just entered your hook through. And Now you have two loops on your hook. To complete your single crochet, now you're going to yarn over again. This is more like a wrap. You're always going to go back to front with any of your stitches. You're always taking your yarn from the back of your work from the back of your hook to the front of your hook and catching it. Now I always turn my hook straight down at my work and the reason that I do this is it slides very easily through my stitches. I'm going to show you if I don't do that on my next chain what happens. So I have just completed my first single crochet. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my next one. So my next chain I look for my loop that's on top and that's my back loop and I'm going to insert right in there. I'm going to go through that and my bottom bump. I'm going to lay over or yarn over as it's more correctly called and pull up a loop. And then I have two. So I'm going to yarn over again, always back to front. Now if you see, if I'm kind of holding, if I'm not paying attention to which way I'm pointing my hook and I try pulling it through, it's a lot harder to get through pointing my hook any way but down. You kind of get stuck on your on your loops, which makes it quite frustrating. So always point your hook straight down at your work and pull it through and it's a lot easier to get through. Again, if you're kind of getting confused on where to insert your hook on the foundation chain, kind of stretch it out and you're going to see kind of a little hole appear. And that's right where you're going to put it, in that little hole. If it's too difficult to catch that found that bottom bump when you're putting your hook through, just go ahead and put it through the back loop only. Just through this first loop. There's nothing wrong with that. It's any way that is easiest for you. So I'm just going to do it through the back loop this time. Lay over, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over again, back to front, turn the hook down so you can slide it through, and pull through those two loops on your hook. Now I've made three stitches already. Instead of counting from the front, I like to count from the top because I have just made more V's and the V's are easy to count. I count one V, two V, three V. I don't count this little V on the end because that's my chain one that I skipped at the beginning. So you're just counting the actual stitches you've made. So here I go again. I'm just doing the back loop. I'm yarning over, pulling up a loop, taking my yarn over, and pulling through. So you continue on down your foundation chain and my next tutorial is going to show you how to work into the middle of your row and also how to begin um, at the beginning of your row and the end of your row so look for those tutorials next